know, the girls at my table keep asking me why I'm so smiley and they think I'm texting somebody and I'm just happy to be here, happy to, to be in Chris's presence and Aaron and all of you guys. Chris yeah, is, me and Chris have been friends for 11 years and it has been a rough friendship, but you know, I almost didn't make it to the wedding, I almost got uninvited, but you know, I pulled up anyways. Um, Chris is genuine and kind and literally the sweetest person that I know. He's always been there for me. From the moment I met Chris in Hollister, we used to work at Hollister together, and I was like 18 years old, I just came back from high school. Um, still trying to find myself. I feel like Chris was a part of me finding myself and he made me feel, excuse my language, but like a badass bitch. And <laughs> you are legit the sweetest. I love you and I'm so happy for you that you found someone that is literally just like you. <laughs> literally just like you. So, Chris is probably one, not probably, Literally, one of the most genuine people that I have in my life right now. Um, I used to think that you had to know somebody for a really, really, really long time um, to think that they were permanent in your life or think that they were meaningful in your life. And um, in the little time that we've known each other, I don't think I've met anyone like Chris. And I just cherish all the moments that we have together. Chris probably is the only person besides my man that can make me <laughs> laugh so much. Um, I share genuine like happiness and joy with you. And when I met Aaron, I was like, this is ridiculous because it's like times two. Um, and I'm honestly, just like Gracie said, I'm genuinely happy to be here. Um, I wish you guys nothing but the best, literally from the bottom of my heart. You guys' love is an inspiration to me. Like, I can really say that. Like, seeing the way you love each other, seeing the way you guys dance with each other, party with each other, go through everything, it's really a big inspiration for me. And I really love both of you so much, like, regardless of what I go through, you guys are so important in my life, and to know that you guys are there for me, and know that you guys are married now, I don't, I've never been to a wedding before, so this is big for me, okay? <laughs> 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 to ask everyone to give an applause to both Christopher and Aaron's mothers. To Chris and Aaron, none of, none of us would have them in our lives individually, um, and they would have them collectively, so I'll start with that. Um, Chris has been in this lifestyle um, as queer people, as people of color. Um, sometimes we have families that are accepting of us, which is a blessing, which is why this room looks like this, and sometimes we don't. Um, most of the times, though, regardless of whether that's the case or not, we don't have family who has lived this life. Um, who have walked um, this earth as a queer person, um, especially a queer person of color, and the universe allows us to choose family and to choose parents in addition to our biological family. Um, that chosen family has been um, the energy and the fuel that keeps me going every day. And Christopher is one of my children. Christopher has been my child for a decade. Um, and I love you. So thank you for that. Um, I met Aaron. Um, for the first time when we were at Brooklyn Bridge Park, showing oh, Kiki, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, this this time is queen. Hello. Um, Hello. And we are, years later, and the joy went nowhere. <laughs> I don't want you to go anywhere. Um, and I don't think anyone here wants either of you to disconnect. So I read one little thing. I didn't prepare this. I just looked this up. Um, <laughs> Love is as love does. Love is an act of will, namely both an intention and an action. Will also implies choice. We do not have to love, we choose to love. Everyone in here plays a special role in Aaron and Chris's life. I'm choking up. <laughs>
I have the pleasure of witnessing this love. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and ever since Aaron told me about Chris, it was just like, like he really was passionate about it. And I've been in Aaron's life since high school. I've seen him through ups, down, left, right. And I've never seen him as passionate, as happy, as loved as he was when he met Chris. I just can't see nobody else uh, with Aaron but Chris. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's only that corny out there. Um, no, but Aaron and Chris, I love you guys so much. So, 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 so much. Chris, thank you for always being there for me. You don't have to, but you do. You always Hello. pull through. Aaron, um, something else I wanted to add is, um, I just, since the day I met Aaron, um, it's funny how it played a part. I'm, I'm gonna go on story mode. Um, he was probably the only one in my high school who I never felt judged by. Um, and he always accepted me for who I was. It wasn't the size, it wasn't the color, it wasn't um, where I came from. It was more like, no, nah, my sister's a key, so we're we gonna keep down, you know? And when he saw that, once he saw me for who I was, it was like, best friends for life, sisters. <laughs> but no, thank you guys, thank you for everything. You guys always let me crash at your place. You know you always have a home with me, and you know I got you if you need any, honestly. Yeah. So Aaron and Chris, for forever, long forever. Yes. Everybody forever. Grab, your, grab your drinks, grab your drinks, grab your drinks. Grab your drinks. Grab your drinks. Don't drink, just raise it. Forever. <laughs> to forever, don't drink. We gotta do this again. Forever. With all my heart, thank you for everything. It filled my heart and it just left me speechless and I appreciate each of you guys. Um, I just want to give special thanks to everybody that helped bring this together. So Gracie and Tagged Events for doing the decor and making everything possible, even though we almost fought many <laughs> end of time, even though I almost blocked her. <laughs> Amira as well, she's been, if you don't know, Amira, take a number Amira is the one who's been running around, the hostess with the hostess. She's been making sure everything keeps afloat. So, um, everyone who catered, Mo, for going out your way and making sure you cooked some food. Gracie's, Gracie's mother and her aunt, they threw down in the kitchen as well. And Milena, don't forget Milena. Um, and everything that happened, none of us had to reach out and ask for anybody for help, and everybody was just offering their help, and I really appreciate that. Um, also, I just want to say, like, looking around this room, like Twiggy was saying, like, sometimes we don't have family that accept us for who we are. I have a lot of friends, and I know a lot of people who have been kicked out of their homes, who their families don't accept them. So for me to be standing in a room with people that genuinely love us, I really appreciate it. So, so, um, you know, either y'all came for the free food or because y'all love us. Don't forget the drinks. So, I just want to thank you guys. I want to thank my mom, my mom for being here. I love you so much. But I always feel like since we, I was younger, like, she just always knew my heart, and we were always like best friends at heart, and she's been there for me for everything, so thank you. Who made you fucking cry? And the one yelling is my other mother, my new mother, that's the other one yelling away. Y'all can hear me in the back? Yeah. <laughs>
Um, hey, I just want to, I'm not one for speeches, so I'm going to make it shorter than that. Um, I just want to say thank you, like everyone else has been saying, and thank you guys for coming out tonight. Um, like he said, shout out to Gracie and the team yes. and Amira for making this event happen. Um, shout out to my sister Louis with the silver hair in the back. I just think like my family, like I never would imagine like when when I was growing up and you have like all these thoughts of like my family won't accept me or you know, I won't make it to a certain age when you're like black and baby. You just never know. So Hello. to be here with all of you guys, I just really appreciate it. And shout out to you, Mom. Um, I love you. Yeah. Kenya, you get in a speech right now. Shout out to you. I love you, girl. I want to be ready to come my toes. If y'all know me, y'all know that's me. So that's what I thought. With fucking everything. Right. Fuck with him, you fuck with me, and I right. that's right. 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 That's the so fuck with you. She don't need a mic. And you feel only me. Okay. So, um, and just to wrap it all up, I just want, just to wrap it all up, I just want to thank you, my husband. <laughs> Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being in my life and loving me unconditionally. And I knew from the moment that we shared where you were there for me before anybody that you were the one. And I love you very much. And I just want to thank, I just want to thank Aaron's father yes, who raised him so I know I'm sorry who raised him and he's not here with us but I know he's looking down on us and we love you very much so now you can take a raise your glasses and take a step that was long I'm sorry